Big thumbs up that Bharat has received from the Financial Action Task Force. The FATF has praised Bharat's efforts to curb money laundering, terror financing. The mutual evaluation report of our nation, which was adopted in the FATF plenary held in Singapore between the 26th and the 28th of June, places Bharat in the quote-unquote regular follow-up category. This is a significant milestone for us as a country at the global stage. Since 2014, the government has enacted a series of legislative changes and bolstered enforcement efforts to tackle money laundering, financial transactions and black money. This multi-pronged strategy has brought these measures in line with international standards and has demonstrably proven to be effective, yielding positive results. Now on the right stand, we'll also break this down further for you. First, let us tell you all about the FATF, Intergovernmental Organization, that was established in 1989, the Financial Action Task Force. International watchdog on money laundering. It actually helps tackle terror financing and the related threats. Bharat became a member of the Financial Action Task Force back in 2010, about 14 years ago. Indian authorities have had success in dismantling further terror funding network using actionable intelligence inputs and these operations have stemmed in the flow stemmed the flow of terror funding black money and narcotics even along the coastline the fatf has recognized the efforts made by bharat on this it has also appreciated our efforts on mitigating the risks arising from money laundering and terrorist financing including the laundering of proceeds from corruption fraud and organized crime Effective measures implemented by our nation to transition from a cash-based to a digital economy in order to reduce money laundering and terrorist financing risks. Implementation of the JAM or the Jandhan Aadhaar and Mobile Trinity, the JAM portal, along with stringent regulations on cash transactions which has led to significant increase in financial inclusion and digital transactions. These measures have made transactions more traceable, thereby mitigating money laundering and terror financing risks and enhancing financial inclusion. Also, the central government assuring to continue the fight against money laundering. And here's what the finance ministry has come out and said. Recognition from the FATF is a testament to the rigorous and effective measures implemented by Bharat over the last 10 years. It underscores the nation's commitment to international standards and highlights the nation's proactive stance in the global fight against financial crimes. Our efforts have set a benchmark for nations in other regions across the world to effectively implement international standards on terrorist financing and especially around us in the subcontinent. Bharat's excellent rating will also enhance the capacity of our country to lead the global effort on countering cross-border terror financing and money laundering. In fact, top government sources are revealing to News 18 that this is a significant achievement that places our country in the top category a team effort and highlights government's approach on security will enhance investor confidence and stability of the economic system. But what does the FATF's mutual evaluation report mean for us? The report places Bharat in the regular follow-up category. The distinction is shared by only four other G20 nations, ladies and gentlemen. This demonstrates the overall stability and integrity of the financial system and good ratings will help increase investor confidence. It will also help in the global expansion of the Unified Payments Interface or UPI, that is Bharat's fast payment system. And good readings, ratings will also lead to better access to global financial market. Good ratings also help Bharat combat cross-border terror and become a shining example for other nations to follow. Other nations that dream of being Vixit very soon, other developing nations. And of course, the Global South will now open itself a little more to adopting, embracing, learning the UPI or the Unified Payments Interface. Let's shift focus. So that's a big feather in the cap for us. But then closer home, there is politics. Plenty of hangama in Parliament. And even ahead of the first long discussion that the new government is supposed to have on the President's address or the President's statement. Now, the burning issue across the country the one that opposition is vehemently asking is that of the examination mess, particularly along the, around the national eligibility come end 